and OS and TCS UV loudly enough for consumers to hear. Bucking the industry trend, the GLA crossover was outsold by its CLA sedan sibling in 2016, albeit by only a few hundred units. So it makes sense that when Mercedes updated the GLA for 2018, it put a priority on making it look more SUV rugged. A new front end sports a reshaped bumper and a restyled grille that looks more like those found on Benz S larger SUVs, the GLE and the GLS. Dimpled black plastic body cladding, added along the side sills, suggests off-road ability, while the tail features a mildly reshaped bumper and restyled taillights. In our test vehicle less attractive combination of the new Canyon beige paint with 19-inch black wheels, the freshened GLA does at least have more road presence, although the jury is still out on whether it looks like a real crossover. More fun than you do think. The GLA 250S performance, though, remains firmly in the compact hatchback camp a good thing for drivers. Mercedes-Benz OS and T note any engine or transmission tweaks. Yet this 2018 example out accelerated its 2016 counterpart, recording a 5.8 second sprint to 60 miles per hour versus 6.1 seconds previously. That is significantly quicker than any of its direct competitors and hot on the heels of a Volkswagen Golf GTI with an automatic. The wild 375 horsepower AMG GLA 45 